My name is Mike Mullen. I'm Managing Director of Jankel. It's extremely important for us to be here today as this is really the, the ceremony for handing over the RRV vehicle to the new regiment of the Special Forces in Belgium. So it's a very important day today for Jankel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long process and a uh, development for us with the Belgian uh, Ministry of Defence. Uh, the first contract for the RRV, uh, we won that contract about three and a half years ago now and really it was a big step forward for Jankel as it was the first main contract for us into a major NATO force. Uh, we've spent around two years developing the product with uh, the Belgian uh, Special Forces and since then we've now won a second contract which is for LTTV which is a slightly larger version of the Fox, it's a support vehicle for the Fox vehicle. Jankel have been working in this market now for around 30 years, really specialising at first with um, um, urgent operational requirement vehicles for Special Forces, very unique, very um, bespoke vehicles for Special Forces, but this programme has really given us the ability to build a vehicle that is um, much higher volume and um, more produced on a, on, a, on a production facility for us. We have spent a long time developing this vehicle. Um, it's been a very uh, important contract for us also in the ability to develop a product that is unique for Special Forces. It's air transportable, it's a very uh, adaptable vehicle, but also one of the main requirements uh, from the customer was to make sure that the vehicle was very uh, ergonomic and uh, uh, past all of the legislation for normal road use as the requirements for this are becoming higher. But most importantly that it's developed for all of the various usages of special forces. So for, for, for other people what we'd like to say is that uh, uh, come and see Jankel, come and have a look at what our capabilities uh, are. Hopefully you've seen the product um, either at this uh, event or at uh, other shows that we've been at and um, we're happy to invite any customers to come and have a look or trial in the vehicle in the future. The FOX vehicle is a vehicle we acquired uh, specifically for the missions of our new SO regiment. Uh, they're destined to, to be uh, a vehicle rapidly deployable uh, with a high autonomy to support our, our troops. The vehicle uh, is based on a chassis from a Toyota Helix, uh, which is uh, very widespread throughout the world and which has uh, been proven itself for, uh, for many years already. Uh, it's very, very good to have that chassis because uh, it is very reliable. Toyota is a, is a good brand. Uh, it has proven itself and uh, throughout the world, uh, even in, in remote location, you will always find some Toyota uh, repair garage, uh, which is a very, a very good thing. We purchased in total 108 vehicles. Uh, they're still being delivered uh, right now. The, the end of delivery will be estimated uh, in September. We have two versions. We have uh, 48 of them in a version command and liaison, which are mainly will mainly be used for a liaison uh, contact with, uh, from a commander with his troops. The other version is a scout version. We have 60 of them made with, uh, with other accessories specific for the, that mission. The two versions are basically the same. They can be uh, changed from one uh, version to another quite rapidly. The, the command and liaison version is uh, equipped with a, a 7.62 machine gun uh, on uh, the passenger side. The other version, the scout version, has also that machine gun, but also heavy uh, armament on top. Uh, that can be a 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun or 40 mm automatic grenade launcher. Uh, the designated crew is four persons. Uh, some features, well, the, the thing that designed or yeah, that designed the vehicle actually is the the ability to transport it in a Chinook helicopter. Uh, that gives some serious restrictions in, in dimensions and weight. Uh, the weight, for example, is limited to 4,500 kilo. The, the main limit in the dimension is the width, which is uh, 1 meter 90. Uh, so that is, is essentially what designed the vehicle. The maximum speed uh, is 142 kilometers an hour. Uh, the range is more than 1,500 kilometers. 
uh, we purchased 39 armoring kits uh, which are uh, removable so we can equip the vehicles that are sent abroad uh, to have additional protection. There is one kit uh, doing the, the two, two aspects. All vehicles are equipped uh, with some basic protection. The pieces that are, are difficult to access are kept on the vehicle and so it's uh, mainly the, the real add-on pieces that, uh, that are removable. We are talking here about uh, the windscreen, for example, doors, some panels on the exterior. Uh, it takes a couple of hours, I believe it was four hours, to, to remove or rebuild the protection on the vehicle. Uh, well, of course, there's not only the vehicle. Apart from the vehicle, you need the crew. Crew needs to be trained to know the vehicle. They need to develop uh, some specific tactics, uh, techniques and procedure. Uh, that will need a couple of months. We, we expect to, be, uh, to have the vehicles and, and the units operational uh, by the beginning of 2019.